Hello, I'm Denise Degon with the Stanford Parkinson's Community Outreach Program. Have you ever felt dizzy or lightheaded when you stand up? It happens to all of us from time to time. When you have Parkinson's disease, you can have blood pressure drops that are more severe than just a moment of feeling dizzy. In addition to dizziness, some people have blurred vision, they feel weak, develop a headache, or have difficulty thinking, or even become completely unresponsive when their blood pressure drops. And rather than just a moment, these symptoms can last for an hour or longer. This severe type of blood pressure drop happens when the autonomic nervous system fails to properly regulate blood pressure when you move from lying down to sitting up or from sitting up to standing. For about 30 people with Parkinson's, these symptoms are caused by neurogenic orthostatic hypotension, or NOH. Those are really big words that essentially mean a drop in blood pressure when you change positions. As you can imagine, getting dizzy when you stand up is a safety hazard for people with Parkinson's. If they take just one step in that state, they may fall and sustain a serious injury. So it's something to be aware of and to take seriously. On the other hand, someone with Parkinson's can't sit forever. They have to move around or they become stiff and eventually incapacitated. And care partners cannot be forever present to help a person with Parkinson's and NOH stand and walk safely or they will have no quality of life. So inform your neurologist of the issue immediately. Prompt treatment with non-pharmacological diet and lifestyle changes and possibly medication is needed. While waiting to hear back from your doctor, here are a few things you can do. First, Monitor your blood pressure so you know if that's likely the cause of the problem. First, measure your blood pressure while laying down or sitting, then again while sitting or standing. A drop of more than 20 points in the top number, the systolic, indicates NOH. Also, stay well hydrated. Drink at least eight ounces with each meal and two more eight ounce glasses at other times of the day. And it doesn't matter what you drink. And here's a trick. Quickly drinking two eight ounce glasses of cold water can help increase blood volume and keep your blood pressure elevated for several hours. Three, eat small frequent meals. Avoid hot drinks and hot foods. And if your daughter agrees that it is safe, increase your salt intake. Consider adding prepared soups and salty snacks like pretzels to your diet. And four, sleep with the head of your bed elevated six to nine inches. You can either buy bed risers to go under the two legs of your bed at the head or a full length bed wedge to go on or under your mattress. And five, do gentle exercises regularly so you avoid long periods of inactivity. When you sit or stand up, do it slowly, especially when standing. Pause for several seconds between each move to let your blood pressure adjust. And before you stand up, march your feet in place. Get your heart rate going a little bit and your blood circulating. If your doctor confirms that you do have NOH, discuss reducing or eliminating medications that lower blood pressure. And that may include some medications that treat Parkinson's symptoms. Finally, if these strategies don't help, there are several medications available to treat NOH. To learn more, the Stanford Parkinson's Community Outreach Program has compiled a list of fact sheets, online articles, and webinars about low blood pressure and Parkinson's in the symptoms section of our webpage at med.stanford.edu slash Parkinson's.